Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Hayden Winks, it's t-shirt time. Did you hear me? It's freaking t-shirt time. We've been here for a year, never leaving our computers, talking to you all online about this kind of good game called football, promoting the gospel. That is underdog fantasy. Namely, don't be scared. Draft your running backs early on. Don't follow the cult. Hayden, and today, to thank the people, it's about damn time that they get to wear these T-shirts that grace our bodies, the underdog fantasy swag. How you doing? I'm good. This will probably not uh, surprise you, but I was a big Jersey Shore fan early on. Out of all the TV shows, that's probably top five on the ones I've watched the most of. Um, love all those guys. Uh, I couldn't see you being a, a GTL guy. A, a Jim Tan Laundry. Rank them. Do a tier list of all of the Jersey Shore cast members. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this Man. is a, a Rudman and Hayden stream. I, I, I feel it in my bones. Yeah. I, I mean, the Polly D, and Vinny are God Top tier. Two. For, for sure. Yeah, they're, they're God tier. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Some of them are in hell tier. It might, might, might admit the situation seems like he might be in hell tier, but yeah, I think I got I to gotta process that more before we start ripping that. All right. Go check out the Tro, Tro Other show with, uh, with Tro Others. Okay. Most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, like we said, we're giving away 100 freaking t-shirts tonight. 100 t-shirts tonight. That is what we are doing. So how might you all receive this lovely cotton polyester combination that we have touching our fair skin? Link to enter this giveaway is at the top of the chat. Supreme would never. Ladies and gentlemen, Supreme would absolutely never. Hayden, what else do we need to tell the people? We're going to separate this into five different categories. Five different categories in terms of the amount of prizes all of you can win. Yeah, so we're there's going to be 71 winners here. There's Ooh. four different tiers. So I think most of you guys should be able to win something here. Tier one is 25 t-shirts. Uh, you got to get into the chat to do that. Tier two is 25 t-shirts. Plus a hat and a hat. I mean, I wear this like every day. Tier three. Now there's only going to be 10 winners here. Uh, you get three different t-shirts plus the hat. We have different colors and all that stuff. And then tier four, three t-shirts. And then the NFL rare edition t-shirt plus the hat. The rare mm -hmm. edition shirt, Josh is wearing this. It's in the chat. You can pick which uh, NFL team you like. If you're not an NFL team or NFL fan, just pick the coolest. Pick looking. Navy and white. Navy yeah, looks I mean, good on everyone. Of course. So, and then the grand prize, <laughs> you have to go to Twitter, uh, quote, tweet the tweet. I think Josh has it somewhere else. And that's where you get um, the sweatsuit. So all you have to do is quote, tweet this and do a, a rookies and sophomores draft. We're going to run through a rookies and sophomores draft here in a second to buy everyone time to, to enter Uh great game, $10 to enter. It's going to fill before the NFL draft. It's only takes about 10 minutes to do. So we're going to walk through one of those after we have to, uh, I think we have some models um, mm. in, in these sweatsuits. We got to pull mm -hmm. that up, um, but we'll walk through a rookies and sophomores draft. Post a, a draft board of that on Twitter, and then you're eligible for the grand prize. Yo, Andrew, asking about the tennis balls. Yeah, we'll send you some freaking tennis balls. We got a factory full of tennis balls. We got to get rid of these things. So, uh, Andrew, we'll send you some tennis balls, too, uh, if, if you want. Paul, Steven, Ace, Andrew, Michael, Sammy, Tube. Jeremy, Benjamin, what's up, everyone? Again, in order to get this free swag, you got to go to the top of the chat. Fill out whatever document Hayden put up there. And we'll get you, we'll get you some good stuff. Go ahead. Where's where's Redman? Where's I, I know I need, I'm getting it. I gotta pull up I a whole Rudman. bunch of things. Look, Hayden, we got producers, we got up in tabs. Here's Rudman. Now, the fine print, if you look at like this little tag. It's at the top of the shirt. It says, if you wear one of these t-shirts, you are 6% more likely to bench 360 pounds. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. It's it's wedding month for me. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get on Rudman's level. That's what it says. How many photos do you think Rudman and Gamby took? I mean, look at oh, yeah, this baby. smile. How often do we get this smile out of Nick? That's that's a good. This well, is like the, oh, the Patriots just selected Mac Jones face that yeah, Rudman's putting out there. For sure. That's it. And then uh, the sweatsuit, the creme de la creme of the underdog swag, thanks to the man himself, Sam Berman. Look at that. There's the hoodie. 
There's the sweatpants. I go for the crew neck. I don't know about you, Hayden, but that's what I rock more often. Yeah, I rock the crew neck. We also have underdog thongs, which I'm here to model right now. Yep. No, we do not have underdog thongs. That's later hey, on. If we if we get to ten thousand subs, we'll do the underdog thong. Hey, I'm I'm like a, a tube of gogurt in here, so I gotta. Uh, it's getting hot in here, so give me a second, okay? Oh God, okay. The gray, I, I like the black t-shirts personally the best, or the yellow. The gray gets a little sweaty for me personally, but we got we got all the colors for it. They're actually really soft. They feel good. This is like a I'm wearing a blanket right now, so if I get sweaty and red and all that type of stuff. It's uh, it's not because I'm freaking out on stream. It's because I might have an extra t-shirt on or two. All right, Josh, let's get the randomizer wheel going before we actually yep. do draft. We have enough people in here to do the first 25 winners. Let's do it. So give me one second and we will start spinning. Um, how's everyone doing out there? Speak to me. I mean, the month, the mock draft season is upon us. Off season is upon us. Again, we will be getting to a rookies and sophomores draft in just a little bit. We know all of you. Absolutely love to overdraft those second year wide receivers. Guess what? You have to do that. You have to do that in rookies and sophomores. And we need to, you know, stockpile that draft tonight because all of you here can be drafting together here in the moment. And we're going to go through some strategy, going to go through some of those live drafts, maybe shout cast a few of them as well. All right. So this is the first of 25 time. spins in the first 10. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to go fast. So yep. be prepared. So be on the lookout. Dave, I'm going to ask you, answer your questions while we're doing this. Can you top last year's mock draft? Yes, it's going to be the summer of 69. We've, we've confirmed this. Um, yep. B. Kurt, can you beat the summer of 59? Look, I'm going to do my damnedest. I'm going to do my best. Now, what I've also realized, B. Kurt, is I get to celebrate the best mock draft of all time every year, just like the 72 Dolphins get to celebrate their perfect season. Because no one else, if no one else tops my mock draft on round one, then I'm just going to pop some, some champagne until four in the morning and celebrate like I, I continue to win it, right? Isn't that how this works? Like you just continue to yeah. win if no one beats you. Well, the other thing here is this draft is impossible. We don't even know who's going to be the second overall pick. At least last year, we need the second overall pick. There was debate at third overall. We don't even know the second overall. There was a report from Daniel Jeremiah. He thinks it's going to be Kayvon Thibodeau, but his odds are still like plus 350, um, So, which I like those odds. But like Malik Willis, like we have yep. a lot of guys on the list. Do you like the wording on the last mock draft? I'll post that in the chat, by the way, if, if people didn't check it out. Like that wording of the uh baker mayfield to carolina connection from the local beat writers we had that a week in advance yes just we a did. week in advance yes we did we talked about it on the podcast i believe too we um, did. yeah we did um someone was asking here we go christopher how you register look above you look above you in the chat it's pinned at the top just fill out that little document subscribe to the channel that's all you have to do we've been here for a year sitting in these chairs occasionally we actually turn on the camera but you know 95 percent of the other time we're just sitting here in the chairs just waiting to hop on live so appreciate and, your subscriptions and if we catch you not sub to the channel and you win here <laughs> rudman is coming to your door and knocking you unconscious so sub to the freaking channel oh oh gosh what a character what a character he is how do you get on this cody the link is in the top of the chat it's right there appreciate you let's go brendan let's go brendan all right. Um, Hayden, I'm going to try to pull up a uh, rookie and sophomore's draft. Okay. Let's do, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to. And for the, the people that are just coming in, Bam. to qualify for the grand prize, you must do a rookies and sophomore's draft. Yep. Post it to Twitter. There is a tweet also in the live chat. Go to our Twitter account. Use hashtag UD Merch Night. And we'll. Well, you'll be eligible to win the sweatsuit, hats, t-shirts, whatever you freaking want from us. Um, so we got to show you how to do rookies and sophomores drafts for the people that are new to the game. Please tell me you're keeping track of how many spins we've done. We're at we're at 13. I wish that I wish I can speed this up, but the randomizer wheel is pretty slow. Okay. Well, we got to pull up this uh, rookie and sophomore draft. Jay Holloman's in there. Burn Zone is in there. JMC5454 is in there. TMP13 is as well. So we'll get to that. In just There's a moment. Everyone... basically no excuse to not do a rookies and sophomores draft right now and qualify right. for the right. the grand prize. Everyone's in right. it. We'll learn how to play the game, and then we'll uh, you can print some money later. What's going to happen? Just oh my gosh, wow, Josh, this is quite this. Josh put on the, the a free show for us. 
I mean, that's what people get. People Lace get is out a great uh, username, by the way. That's the best one I've seen so far. Or Tristan's best ball is also a good one. Yes. Top stat. Here we go. The first spins, as we were doing here, the first 25. You get a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt. These lovely t-shirts. Let's see what they're made out of. Since I made up what they were previously. Bella Canvas. 50% polyester. 25% cotton. Hey, That's that good stuff. I nailed it. That's that good stuff. They're actually super soft. Like, also, look, if you're stuck in the wilderness, do you ever dream about this? With my dog, I, I have this dream where I wonder, like, what would happen if if we were stuck in the middle of nowhere? Like, if we're bear grills, like, get lost on a hike, how would we survive? Make it afraid? Nah, I mean, but I would say, in that case, I would use this as a pillow. It's that soft. And I feel like a freaking pillow in how many t-shirts I have on right now. Also, the, the jumpsuits are nike they're like we're not going to oh, like so old good. navy like this is some serious stuff over here we're not cheaping out yeah uh here we go yes darshan you are automatically entered in the spins once you submit the google doc easy peasy that's exactly what we try to do here william up the damn villa even though they just lost four nil this past weekend to everyone's favorite team for some reason spurs so uh that's fine See, Josh, right, wait, a national a television more. commercial. How does it feel to be a celebrity? Uh, Hayden, how does it feel to do a podcast with a celebrity? Hey, I need to get on these commercials next year. That's my goal. I'm going to I'm gonna drop so much weight getting prepared for my wedding. They'll have no choice but to put me on there. Um, Hayden was going to be in the commercials, and then they got him up there to do a shoot, and he just said, do you hate setting lineups, you freaking idiots? <laughs> and then they're like, okay, we're not going to do this. All right, this is the final T-shirt one. Get get ready for the rookies and sophomores. Drafts. I know, I know. I'm trying to find one that's just starting. That one's about to finish as we uh, they go so quickly. Again, if you are like waiting for the dentist to get your root canal, if you are at the car wash before they like accidentally pop your tire, um, do a rookies and sophomores draft. They take five to ten minutes. They are so much fun to do, and they go so by so quickly. So download the app again if you've never played on Underdog Fantasy. One, welcome. We're a very welcoming group. We love free stuff. We love giving it all to you, especially. Very, very soft t-shirts. Um, go and enter promo code the show. We match your first deposit. I don't know. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. We give it right back to you up to $100. Okay. Um, I don't know, Hayden. Damn, we got a lot of responses, Josh. Not gonna lie, way more than I was expecting. <laughs> good job, good job by all you guys. So, so, so I can't say like, hey, if you're probably in this room, you're probably gonna get a t-shirt. Uh, no, I we're can't at say that anymore. 233 responses and counting. So yeah, you guys showed up. I'm glad. Well, I'll, I'll uh, we'll keep I'll it quick. We'll keep it quick. Drawing board. Yeah, we'll keep it quick. Good. You know, Supreme would never. That's the also. This program. Hey, that sounds like if all of you knuckleheads actually sub to the channel, right, we then we can actually possibly hit 10,000 subs tonight too. That's yes. a possibility. Um, I'll we'll we'll ask the marketing team if we can up the the grand prize if we hit 10,000 subs, but. The, the real the real thing is Rudman will show up to your door if you're not subbed to the channel and you win. Right. We have you. You added your address uh, in the Google form. So make sure you're subbed, um, please. I was uh, I was thinking what I could do when we got to 10,000 subs. Should I like prank call Evan Silva from like a <laughs> an unregistered number? <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> and just talk to him about like something about Kirk Cousins. And anyways, Evan's a great dude. Hey, Winston, in the, the chat. The steakhouse that we went to the Colts, be like, hey, you left you left damage in the... <laughs> yeah, that would, be, that would be really funny. That would be good. Uh, to find rookies and sophomores, go to Underdog Fantasy, promo code the show if you oh. haven't deposited on Underdog. If you haven't played on Underdog and you're looking for Underdog merch, who welcome. are you? <laughs> who are you? But welcome. You're smart. Um, but yeah, let's run through this. Let's open the draft board. And let's get this thing cooking Rookies all right and sophomore... four four person drafts and obviously it's wide receivers you only have to start one running back quarterbacks and then wide receivers and tight ends are are connected and so jamar chase i'm assuming is the odds on the favorite here number one overall here all the time here yes yeah, so the first three i have it like this jamar chase Najee harris javante williams then i prefer the quarterbacks this is a game about quarterback scarcity we are looking at the incoming rookie quarterback class, and I've watched most of them. I don't think many of them are any good. Kenny Pickett might be good. Malik Willis might be good in like three years, but probably not this year. So in this draft, I need either Trey Lance, 
Justin Fields or Trevor Lawrence. And I think I like Trevor Lawrence and Trey Lance the best over Justin Fields. And then I want Mac Jones or Zach Wilson or Davis Mills. I want two of those six quarterbacks. If you do not have a good quarterback, uh, you're screwed in this format. So I think we have to reach for him and then win the other positions with depth here. So I think all three of these teams, um, the one team that I think kind of messed up here is I didn't really like that Brees Hall pick. I think you can find a running back that's going to produce enough like Brees Hall with, with uh, quantity where I would have went Trevor Lawrence instead. So we'll have to monitor his team, see how, uh, how they're doing at the quarterback position. Cause I would be pretty concerned here if I was rocking like Mac Wilson and like Desmond Ritter, I think you're going to basically lose out. Uh, and again, if you're on the turn at one of these, it is so smart to just double dip at quarterback because once they're gone, they are gone. Like getting one of, would you say the five rookies from last year? I mean, Davis Mills goes a bit later on, but let's say, you know, these four that they have of Trey Lance, Trevor Lawrence, and even like the Justin Fields, Zach Wilson, heck Hayden, would it be stupid to go Mac Jones over one of those? I mean, I know Justin Fields is going as like quarterback 16 in a lot of our normal drafts right now. But man, the more we read about what's going on in Chicago, the more it's just it's like, gonna, there. this season's going to suck for them. Yeah. So my favorite team so far is probably out of the two hole because he has Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones. I like Mac Jones more than Zach Wilson straight up. I thought he was like light years better last year. Um, and I think I like Trevor Lawrence more than Justin Fields, like you said, just for the Chicago Bears being pathetic it, it's you know it's bad when we're talking negatively about the bears compared to the jaguars yeah so or so. the jets when like apparently no one yeah. wanted to go there like for sure we're chicago where they're already saying we're looking to 2023 i don't know if uh you listen to one of the over cap podcasts as well they're all just Always. pointing to it's just a blow up it's just a yeah. complete blow up and pushing all of the bad money this year trying to get rid of it and then starting over in uh in 2023 and like when you go into your offseason saying hey darnell mooney's our number one wide receiver and then you bring in uh byron pringle as the number two and then the offensive line is even worse possibly than it was last year because you lose james daniels whoa buddy yeah like the, the only outcome that could be positive for justin fields is if they start allowing him and like structuring the offense around his rushing ability but that's a i need to see it to believe it dynamic before I, I i trust that thesis and also we know justin fields can run like we need to develop him like the passing part of justin Fields. so that's yeah. that's why it's super unfortunate let's go to this team three have they drafted a quarterback yet this is i think we're getting into the zone where you do not want to be this Yikes. team this team is dead right here this team is dead in my opinion unless malik willis is much better than what we think but right now he has all these wide receivers you can only why? start two of them yep so, so what are we doing here? Like, that's why in this is just a format where you have to be aggressive on the quarterbacks. The wide receiver depth in last year's class and this year's class is very good. So you might as well win that position um, with depth. And you got to you got to get one of the top quarterbacks, in my opinion. here. Yeah, Andrew, I totally believe in Justin Fields long term. I think you can also say that his rookie season absolutely sucked. Um, there were some nice stretches in terms of series and maybe even one or two games that you could point to. But now we have to start completely over behind a really bad offensive line. And it's not like the skill position players outside of the rushing attack is really one that we want to to get by with. So I, I, I think there's a lot of cause con for concern when comparing him to other not just players who go around him, but quarterbacks who go around him and not just in rookies and sophomores, but in normal best ball drafts and underdog as well. Okay, I'm getting prepped for the next randomizer wheels here. Last chance to get into the randomizer wheel. Also, if, if you're new here, grand prize, go to Twitter. Yep. That's where you get I the just posted it in the uh, stuff. in the chat too, the link so you, everyone can go. Uh, you check still have out time to do a rookie and there. sophomore's draft. Yep. But with how long this damn randomizer Look, wheel takes, you have time to do it in 10 minutes. It takes five, seven minutes to do a freaking rookies and sophomores draft again right before you get your third root canal of this month because you don't brush your teeth go and complete a rookies and sophomores draft in that little waiting area i was definitely afraid of the dentist when i was growing up because like hey i don't know how about your dentist was when you were a child but the waiting room was in the middle and then all of like the the tables for the dentist were wrapped around us so you could just hear these kids screaming as they were drilling their teeth in. and tough. then the dentist that we went to was i don't know prosecute is the right word but lost his license because he was falsely saying that we all had cavities and so he was like oh. i know so my brother would go Hell in there tier. and get six cavities and i would have none so. that's held here 
That's a healthier dentist. He ruined it. He ruined it for people. You're a lucky person, Alpha Omega. You're a lucky person. Um, okay. Can you win more than once? Uh, AK yeah. Hal, no. You no. cannot. Wow. We this removed your injury as soon as you win crazy. once. Um, there's a few others. Can we put, purchase the merch? Furries, no. This is why we were doing the stream as of right now. The only way to get this damn merch is from us. Hayden and I are just giving people, you know? I will say, though, the Liz Keevils, the Nick Rudmans, the wonderful people of Underdog, we said we're going to give away 99 t-shirts. And they said, no, you're doing a freaking 100 t-shirts. So we're doing 100 t-shirts tonight. Plus yes, that. I see a lot of colors under that collar, Josh. Get, rip, strip for us a little bit. Get us another one, please. My goodness. <sighs> All right, let's do... Let's get back to the wheel here. We can't we can't look at Josh's uh, bellies too much longer. So let's get to the wheel. Twenty five spins. Wanna... What? What are they winning here? Uh, okay, I'll pull it up. No, this nope. one. That's the preview. So twenty five more spins, you get a t shirt and a hat. The longer you stay, the better prizes that you get. This is how YouTube works. That's this right. is how YouTube works. So you get a t shirt and a hat if your name is being drawn right now. So congrats to Sam Chowdhury. Congrats to Pirate Dogs. Congrats to everyone here. The hat that Hayden is wearing. Some might consider a dad hat. I believe in Brooklyn when I walk down the street. They freaking love dad hats. All right? The, you know, if you found it at Goodwill, they love the dad hats here in Brooklyn. They love pants that don't fit. They love shrub jackets that they wear. It's just amazing as it get, gets warmer. Uh, I do not fit in with just my navy on navy on khaki. <laughs> navy on navy on khaki. That's going to be on your tombstone. That is the best description. Plain navy on plain khaki. How do you sum up Josh Norris? There you go, right there. Uh, also want to show out, we got uh, really nice Nike hoodies, jawstring hoodies. Yep. Wear that to the gym, sweat it out like you're in a high school wrestling. Yep. Hey, you're a high school wrestler right now. I was a high school wrestler uh, until I went to NC State's wrestling camp and I was like 165 pounds going into, I think it was my sophomore year. So I was, I was a, I was a thick, you know, 17 year old or whatever. And at 165 pounds, when you go to NC State's wrestling camp, you are facing off against seniors who are national champions <laughs> because they cut weight for a freaking summer camp. And so I would just, I won one match that entire two weeks. <laughs> Or a week or whatever it was. And so I just quit. <laughs> I like, it's, it's tough out there. This is not for me. Why Why do... like I'm, I'm kind of a noob to this. Why do we have to lose 15 damn pounds before we do a UFC fight and stuff? Why can't we just add 15 pounds to every weight <laughs> class and then have all these people, instead of having to kill themselves right before, just weigh in? Like, we'll bring Sex Jay on to... As our MMA expert, our resident MMA expert at some point. My favorite uh, Sex J thing right now is just going at Dana White for not paying anybody enough. <laughs> Chris, you know it, buddy. Chris, good to see you. Love you, Chris. We hey, how are the workouts for you, by the way? Oh, we're going strong. We're going strong. Yeah? What, yeah. What, what's the typical workout? Are you still uh, pushing trucks and, and parking decks like you used to? Uh, no, my, my brother's got an actual really nice gym that I go to oh. and I do twice a week. And nice. We're doing sleds. We're doing all the good stuff. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. Let's ask. Oh, here we go. Look at this chat. If we hit 10,000 subs, an underdog championship ring is going to be given away. Oh, let me find a picture of these. I'll find a picture of this. Hayden. We need, uh, we need, um, the, the chain giveaway again. That was my favorite thing that we've done. Let ben Baller. The Ben Baller oh, yeah. chain giveaway. Ben was Baller was the man, by the way. He was dope. He Super was dope. nice guy. Uh, here we go. Boom. Download. Let me get this ring so people can see it. Bam. Did you see the final chain? Yeah, it was sick. It was really sick. Um, yeah. You know what's free? Not just these t-shirts, Hayden, but a freaking subscription to this channel. And a strip tease from Josh. Rip another shirt off. Let's go. You don't have to tell me twice. You're getting sweaty over there, bud. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> All right. Uh, chat, just curious. If we were to sell merch later on, 
what would you guys be looking for? Just, just I have mine. curious. I, I, I put out a concept art. I did uh, see I'll, that. I'll, I'll show the chat. I did see this. Yeah, let us know. I, I want um, bucket hats would be interesting. I think golf, golf golf polos would be nice, like a nice breathable Nike golf po polo would be sick. This is my uh, – here's my concept. Hoodies. Chat, what do you think about these? Would you uh, would you want this shirt? <laughs> the, the Josh Norris strategy <laughs> special right there. I mean, I think – look, Hayden. You're if not wrong. Just put, if we put just draft good players on one side and then buy moto running backs on the other grouping, yeah. I wonder which one would sell more. My just draft good players, <laughs> the back side of it is going to be a Trey Sermon name with his, his jersey number. I don't even know Trey Sermon's jersey number because I never saw him yes, play. Yes, you do. Last year. last year, didn't see him play once. It's 28. It's 28. All right, uh, five more. These people are getting a T-shirt and a hat. The hats are dope. Yep. Um, and then we'll do some spins for three T-shirts and a hat. MDS623, welcome to the party. Jiggly Rolls, welcome to the party. What Lithium87, glad you could make it. Also, all the new people here, the subs, uh, we're a little more serious usually. On Monday nights, every Monday night, we're doing draft streams with guests where we're actually talking about the strategies, the players that we like. That's every single Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. All the way until September, what, 10th or whatever it is, uh, we'll be doing a draft stream, how to win best ball. We have, we've been doing super flex ones previously. We have rookies and sophomore strategy guides on the YouTube oh. channel. But once Best Ball Mania 3 starts coming, we are going to have oh. a bunch of random content as well. And Best Ball Mania 3 is coming up soon, ladies and gentlemen. And if you thought last year was big, holy shit. You guys got to draft a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just warning you guys. One of you is going to retire if you win Best Ball Mania 3. Let's put it that way. All right. we These were the next set of winners. Um you're just going to get all this stuff in the mail randomly if you've won. Um, yep. So let me let me clear this again, and then we'll spin for the next couple prizes. Shout out to the team for handling that, because all we do is send them send them names. I know, <laughs> man. We got the fun job. Shout out to the team. You're the best. Everyone behind the scenes at Underdog. Burn. Okay. Our model, too. So we've done, you know, some great giveaways. So far, 50 t-shirts and 25 hats. Next up, what, Hayden? There's going to be 21 spins left to go. Only 21 spins left to go. You can still win, in the next 10 spins, three T-shirts and a hat. Then after that, 10 more spins, three T-shirts and a hat, and the beautiful NFL T-shirt that I cannot find anywhere because my floor is covered in these other plush, soft, thick boy tees. And then a uh, grand prize, five T-shirts, one hat, one NFL tee, and the sweatsuit right off Hayden's back. Yes. You can have that one if you prefer it. And I will find. You don't want that one. Grand prize and put it in the chat right now for how you can. Uh, Man. Can qualify uh, for it. There we go. This is a lot of names in here. Not going to lie. Lots of names. <laughs> I was very, I was very ready to be like, hey, if you join this, you'll probably get a t-shirt. Can't do that anymore. Appreciate you, everyone. And yes, as Hayden alluded to, right now we're in the midst, the depths of draft season. We've got great wide receiver running back videos down the channel. I have a great one on Jordan Davis. I don't know if you got to watch that show, Hayden. Um, I did. But with Ben Fennell, fantastic stuff. Jordan Davis, probably the scariest prospect in this draft, the most polarizing. And I think we were very fair with his evaluation. And then tomorrow we start up with quarterbacks here, 3 o'clock Eastern. We're going to do Malik Willis versus Kenny Pickett. And that should be a really, really fun show. We got some good takes for you there, too. Really fun show. Um, all right. Yes. Let's pray to the underdog gods for William Fountain. I want to see his name right now, Hayden. That would be amazing. William Fountain. Bam. These people getting that's three, it. Three that's it. That's his name. That's, <laughs> that's his yeah, name. close enough is a nickname. <laughs> Ooh, people are throwing out ideas. Bandanas. Uh, bandanas would be great. Or the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Allen mentioned a quarter zip so he can wear it to work. I'm not, not a quarter zip guy personally. I don't really. I don't. 
No, I want to zip it all the way down. If I need to zip it all the way down, I need to zip it all the way down. I think man. my second year at NBC Sports, I wore a quarter zip every single day. I know. NBC that's... is very quarter zip friendly. Yeah, they they are known to rock <laughs> quite the quarter zip over there. When, when you get every single year the Winter Olympics gear, and that's every four years, um, a quarter zip or two is included. And then you'll just be one of 50, 50 dudes walking around the same quarter zip in that office. FQP. Welcome to the party. Wristbands. Interesting for Reese. Has anyone done the underdog thongs? Anyone looking out for underdog thongs? What are lounge pants, Hayden? I'm wearing I've... them right now. Those are sweatpants. It's like the same thing. How You're are those lounging. different than lounge pants? You're lounging in sweatpants, right? Is that are lounge pants the, the when the tax is on the butt? Oh, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> what was that classic brand? I forget which one it was. It's like pink. Yes, pink classic i don't know why that came here we go from adam g strings there we go for valentine's yep. day next year zubaz what are zubazes we get should get spanks underdog spanks hey no you rock spanks for your wedding yeah. of course <laughs> uh oh here we go indiana skullcapper beanie i used to call them toboggans growing up is that a weird thing to do no, beanies. I, they were toboggans to me. Anyone else call them toboggans in the chat? I'm not the only one. Maybe that was a North Carolina thing. Right, Underdog dogs. Keaton, we would love to give you a dog. We've mentioned giveaways <laughs> of just sponsoring your adoption. Right, right. We've thought about this. I, I think the uh, the section we'd be more afraid of is, is vetting the person instead yeah. of the dog. We don't trust you. We don't trust you, Keaton. <laughs> All right. That was the 10 names for the um, three T-shirts and a hat. You are going to have a whole wardrobe. Thanks, Underdog. You are welcome. Your whole entire... Um, the Lemmer. Jim. A74 Wilson. X Caliber. Reese Wynn. Congratulations, PDK. Win Trap March, 1105. Baby. Congratulations to all of you. Just 11 spins to go, ladies right. and gentlemen. The grand prize. Yep. Go over to chat. Twitter. Go over to Twitter and post it, guys. I better have a lot of names over there, too. Once again, you have to complete, and we're going to give you just enough time. If you get in these rookies and sophomore drafts right now, you can pick and win this grand prize. It's five T-shirts, one hat, one NFL tee, and a sweatsuit. That's seven days worth of tops. This can be your entire wardrobe, thanks to Underdog Fantasy. Right? Like... What other company right now at 7.33 Eastern, Monday, April 11th, is giving you seven days worth of clothing other Just than us. Underdog? Just us. Just us. And the good news is you have a one in 300 chance of doing it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there have been good. worse odds. <laughs> Hayden, you know, the greatest mock draft of all time had 84 million to one. That's that true. Day. That's true. All right, all six right. So more right, here. Right now, this is the three T-shirts, one hat, and one FLFT. So, M Jerky Thirty Two, Themist, B Town Mills. You're all receiving this. We have five more after this one. Don't have one? Guess what, man? Now you do. I mean, you what have is three this? T-shirts, one NFLT, and one hat. Don't have one? Yes, you do. Man, I already know a couple of people effed up their addresses in here too, and that's oh, their no. problem, not mine. Oh no. Why don't we do an extra couple spins then? We well, we're going to do an spin. extra one instead of don't have one. Yeah, he doesn't. He or she is not winning that. That's ridiculous. Correct. So these are your underdog usernames. So if you don't have one, guess what? Sign up, use promo code the show, and we match your first deposit up to $100. There you go. I'll, uh, I'll put that in the chat just in case people want to sign up right now, too. Bam. Rook rookies and sophomores, get your quarterbacks early. Easy as that. Here's a link to sign up. Bam. There we go. There we the go. chat is lucky. I'm listening to this randomizer wheel, and they have like this applaud feature. I think Josh has, <laughs> has it muted for you guys, but I'm going through the pain. Oh. Underdog koozies from Brian? Hey, now. All right. That works. Love to see that. Let's go, Jason. You're still eligible. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sunshade. 
I, I mean, you're speaking my language here, Brian. At the beach, we don't stay in the sun. We, we, we stay in the shade. You don't stay in the sun. <laughs> don't, don't say we. You, buddy. Uh, uh, underdog bottle openers. Hmm. I just want stickers for my laptop. You know, just, I, I'm I'm sure you can at get the that. Starbucks. Uh, yeah, I, I know I know some people at the company. Maybe they can throw me a couple of those. All right, that was the ten here. Should we do a couple extra spins? We're feeling generous. We got a yeah. I mean, lot, don't have one. Here. Literally, does not count. Yeah, I, I've done an extra one for him. Let's do a couple more random ones uh, for for just a t-shirt. For no, we'll do the three t-shirts. We got t-shirts. Oh, okay. We got so three t-shirts reached, and a hat. I think we reached ten thousand subs. I'm feeling generous. Oh, yes. Everyone, thanks for being here. Thanks for subbing to this beautiful channel. We've been doing this exactly a year. Exactly a year. So we're trying to give back. You are so gracious with your time uh, to listen to me and Hayden ramble and for me not to, you know, have short sentences. It's not in my repertoire to be able to speak in 20-second fragments. So we want to give back. And by that, we give you T-shirts. Lovely, cozy T-shirts just like these. Another strip tease from Josh. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. How many how many underdog teachers do you think you have? Well, after um, the Super Bowl stream, since <laughs> I was the only one that drove, <laughs> they just said we're not shipping this back, so just take it. So I have I have oh underdog flags. The flag Ooh. is sick. So yep. if you're like if you got a frat house or something, you want an underdog flag, that would be. That'd be pretty fire. All right, we're doing one last one. Man, how, how many people Go went Matt. to Elon and do all of them work in the sports industry? Look, it's we're, crazy we're a here. pipeline. We got Luke here now with us. We're trying to get some more people from Elon as well. Shout out to Luke, motion, video extraordinaire. Elon's the place, Aiden. If all, all of right. you were like 17 years old or 18 years old and trying to get into, figure out your college, go to Elon. Go there. All right, Um, I have the list. Yes for tier four so we are going to be grabbing the grand prize things in a second Ooh. just need to buy some time to do that um noah if you're watching we need that list let's go roland yeah Noah, if you could help us out send the list over that would be great phil b always see you phil b what's up yeah chris i think you just won three t-shirts yeah, you won three t-shirts. You won you won an NFL t-shirt, whichever team you picked. You won a hat. Yeah, you won the yeah. underdog thong. It's great. <laughs> That's great. Game worn underdog thong. Okay. Relax. Um stream worn. All right. Do you want to go while we're waiting? We're just waiting on this grand prize winner. Do you want to go find Wait, I'm gonna one wear an the... underdog t-shirt to your wedding? Go for it. <laughs> Ask me if I care. It's <laughs> uh your family go, understand they've never met me but they like, are dying like, to meet you my right. parents love you right so i'm gonna wear an underdog t-shirt and just like lean into it completely what if my first dance song is uh our theme song <laughs> <laughs> that would be some good stuff that'd be good you're, you're gonna see uh you're gonna see some fun josh that night i bet last I dance is at midnight i don't know yeah and that's just, that's the last dance at the wedding. We still got the bar down the street after, bud. <laughs> All right. I am pulling grand prize winners. Looks like we have 51 people that participated. Thanks for doing that. Ooh, thanks that for means that. that we had people actually doing rookies and sophomores drafts. Great game. Lots of edge in this game because it's a niche game. Practice it a couple times yep. and start doing them because a lot of people are learning and have no idea. Try it out for a little bit. Understand the game and start winning some things. Um, okay. Your top two tips for rookies and sophomores drafts. That ends in 17 days. I believe that tournament closes in 17 days. It's about halfway full right now. It's going to fill. So get in right now before these other people know rookies any better. So Hayden, top two tips for the people playing rookies and sophomores. Go. Number one would definitely be I want – two of the top five quarterbacks i think to do that you can draft one of the top position players in the first round grab the best second round quarterback to me it's either trey lance or trevor trevor lawrence ahead of justin fields then wait two rounds grab mac jones in the fifth round if you miss on mac jones draft davis mills and then win with depth everywhere else so that's my strategy number one strategy number two just listen to us we've gone through all the running backs 
all the wide receivers already. We have prospect profiles on the chat. We all we're going to be doing quarterback shows Tuesday and Thursday. Yep. Tuesday long, it's going to be a long show. Malik Wills film and Kenny Pickett film. We're going to go the pros and cons for all of them. We have all 22 clips. It's going to be a great show. Got a bunch of advanced stats. We'll learn what Josh's opinions are. These guys, and then on Thursday, Sam Howell, Desmond Ritter, who's kind of interesting. And also uh, Matt Corral, who some people have as quarterback one as well. We'll go through all of their tape on Thursday. Yeah, I don't want to talk set. about Sam Howell, just to be honest with you. I haven't watched him yet. That's the last <laughs> one. That's the last we, one. We, we might end up not talking about Sam Howell. No, um, well, we have to. <laughs> I don't know. Do we? Uh, we also have a full mock draft show on the channel. So if you're into that stuff, if you're into potentially seeing exactly who is going to go to your team, by, done by and completed by the person with the greatest mock draft of all time and selected 16 of 32 correct last year. Hey, go and check out that hour long show, which is down below. Um, you didn't ask for my advice for any drafts. My advice would be this just draft good players. Just that's it. The good ones. That's all you have to do is just draft good players. So give me the give me the rookie running back. Who's the who's the good rookie running back? Brees Hall. Well, it depends on where they go, but Brees Hall. Brees Hall's that. You like Brees Brees Hall over Kenneth Walker? I think that's where we're going to go here. Um, someone had a good question. Oh, Hayden, have you ever played disc golf? Yes. I disc golf probably once or twice a week. Um, my junior and se senior year, high school years. We have one of the best uh, Frisbee golf. We call it Frolf uh, courses on the planet in Huntington Beach. Huge course. It's yeah one of the best games. I am a much better disc golfer than I am actual golfer. That's for sure. Look at these beautiful t-shirts. I'm going to fold them up and put them neatly and responsibly back into my drawers. Okay. Grand prize. Grand prize. Let's pull it up. Once again, to all of you who are entered, you potentially get an entire week's worth of a wardrobe courtesy of Underdog Fantasy. Five t-shirts, one hat, one NFL tee, and the plush, beautiful, sacred, makes you look so freaking handsome. Or pretty sweatsuit. It's Nike. It's, it's Nike. good stuff. It's the good good. All right. All right. You want to do it. it? The big one. I am rooting for how you doing. Congratulations. <gasps> Between two. Eric. Eric. Lindbergh. Always in the chat. You'd love to see this. We do love to see that. We love to see that. I look like I lost 10 pounds during this stream. Like you can you see, did. The, you, it was quite the workout. The lats, the traps, or is it the traps and the lats? Yes, one of those two. Um, Eric Lindberg, thank you. Chat, thank you for being here. This was a fun. Yeah, Eric, let's give a round of applause for Eric. That's some good stuff. One in heard the chat for Eric. One actually in the chat. subbed to the ch chat so Rudman doesn't have to go beat that ass at his address. That's great. That works. There we go. Uh, Derek, Phil B. Andrew, James, Brian, I am King, Jordan, Jack, all of you. Thank you for being here. Again, we get back to business tomorrow. Quarterback evaluations. We got Malik Willis. We got small hands, Kenny Pickett. Two gloves, Kenny Pickett. Let's have some fun. Go ahead. We had 361 responses. That's pretty nice. dope. Which team got the most votes for the the the, the NFL team shirt colors? That they wanted an NFL team. Nine okay, percent of the votes. Nine. Nine percent. Okay. If I get this right, let's give away something else. Okay. Okay. Chat. What do, What do you think? Which team do you think had the most? I, I have my guess. Um, we're gonna give away another thing if if I get this right, and I think it's pretty easy, Hayden. The number one team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Guess again. <laughs> Dang it. Chicago Bears. Let's see if anybody in the chat has it. We got some we got some crack, correct answers. Packers. In here. Dude. Patriots. Literally their nickname. America's team. Oh, the Cowboys. Well, I mean, the that boys. would have been the easy guess. Well, <laughs> guess correct. Sorry. Of course. I let Corbin. you all down. We'll spin anyway. Let let's do down. let's do one spin. What's <laughs> what's there to lose? What are they winning? Uh, shout out to Sam. Shout out to Colette for sending this email. 
Shout out to Liz and Nick for allowing us to do this idea. Shout out to the you know ops team behind us, the support team that handles every single person's you know issues that they have. There's such a good good group working at Underdog. They allow us to have a lot of fun outwardly, and they do all the difficult work inward. So uh, appreciate all them. The for people are asking Noah for, for running social. The people are asking for all the T-shirts that you just took off for the the prize here. All right, we're, okay, we're how, many, one more how, how many t-shirts did I take off? Who counted? How many t-shirts did I take off? Yeah, who are the perverts that counted Josh's strip teases? I'm guessing seven. I have eight t-shirts on. That's pretty impressive. All right, we're gonna spin. This person's winning. They're a tier four winner. Three three t-shirts, an NFL t-shirt, and a, and a hat. Another person. Last one. No more. Last one. We're gonna bankrupt the company doing merch <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna go from having all this merch giving it all away and then we're not gonna have merch for another few months now so yeah. we, we might have ruined it for everyone perfect andrew congrats andrew all right people have had enough of us this was too much i've had enough of me all right appreciate you all tuning in thanks for supporting us it's been a fun fun year here on this channel Again, shout out to the entire Underdog team. And most importantly, shout out to the Underdog community. If you're here for the first time, we do like to have some fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this and join us along the way. It's going to be a big, big summer and be on the lookout, say a couple days after the NFL draft for Best Ball Mania 3. It could be life-changing. Best Ball Mania 3 is going to be life-changing. Will, for multiple people. <laughs> that hot, hot Best Ball summer is right around the corner and you all know it. You skip the goddamn guacamole and deposit on underdog instead. There's no waivers. There's no trades. There's no setting lineups, Hayden. You just set it and forget it. We picked your best lineup for you. That's it. All right. Let's answer this real quick. Rudman is hand delivering each one of those. He's hits the road this week. Uh, I'm sure it's a world three tour. weeks. I mean, in this, in this economy and with this, with this supply chain, I mean, come on, give us, give us a month. Yeah. They're coming. He said, what he said. All right. For Hayden. For the entire underdog team. I am Josh. Oh, yes. Up the villa. Talk to y'all soon. See you.